April has some incredible new horror releases across streaming platforms and in theatres, including Should a Celebration of Halfway to Halloween. So let's take a look at what's in store. Hi guys, I hope you're doing really well. My name is Sarah and welcome to What The Horror, the channel where we talk about horror movies old and new. If you're in the market for some brand new horror releases, then this episode has you covered because I have a list of movies and TV shows being released in the month of April across multiple streaming platforms and in theatres. So get yourselves comfy and let's see what we are in store for in the month of April. The wait is finally over as we have a release date for American Horror Story Delicate part two, starring Emma Roberts and Kim Kardashian. The season follows rising star Anna Victoria Alcott, played by Emma Roberts, as she struggles with fertility. When strange occurrences begin to happen around her, she becomes wary of everybody's intentions. The twelfth season of Ryan Murphy's series has been on a bit of a hiatus due to the 2023 Hollywood strikes, so it paused for good reason, but it did mean the audiences had to wait for five months for the conclusion of the season. Hopefully, it will have been worth the wait. What's interesting about this season of American Horror Story is that it is based on a novel called Delicate Condition, written by Danielle Rollins, which I was surprised to learn as previous seasons have all been original stories. But the final four episodes will start again on April 3rd, showing on Wednesdays at 10pm on FX and then streaming exclusively on Hulu the next day, starting April 4th. Next, we have one of the busiest release dates of the month and the first entry in Shudder's Halfway to Halloween new releases. Baghead will be released on the streaming platform on April 5th. Following the death of her estranged father, Iris learns she has inherited a run-down, centuries-old pub. She travels to Berlin to identify her father's body and meet with a solicitor to discuss the estate. Little does she know, when the deed is signed, she will become extricably tied to an unspeakable entity that resides in the pub's basement, Baghead, a shape-shifting creature that can transform into the dead. Baghead has previously had a small release in theatres earlier in the year in some select countries, but it wasn't out for very long, so hopefully more people will now be able to check this one out, including yours truly. Then we have another TV series for the list with Parasite the Grey, a South Korean sci-fi horror series co-written and directed by Yeon Sang-ho. When unidentified parasitic lifeforms begin violently taking over human hosts, trying to gain power, humanity must rise up to combat the growing threat. The series is based off of a manga series called Kiseju, but its screenplay tells an original story and follows new characters. It will be interesting to see if they manage to provide a strong adaptation of the manga source material, but with the director of Train to Busan at the helm, it's quite an exciting prospect. The six-part series will be released worldwide on Netflix on April 5th. Then we have the first Omen being released, again on the 5th of April, in theatres. The film follows Margaret, a young American woman who is sent to Rome to begin a life of service in the church, which she joyfully obliges. However, as she comes across various dreadful incidents, she uncovers a dark conspiracy that draws her closer to the truth about the birth of evil incarnate. The First Omen is a prequel to the 1976 original The Omen. It's directed by Akasha Stevenson and stars Nell Tigerfree, Bill Nye, and Ralph Ineson. The Omen franchise hasn't had a new instalment since the TV movie Omen 4, The Awakening, and after that one wasn't received very well, things were quiet for about 30 years, but plans for a prequel to The Omen began all the way back in 2016. With the original being a beloved horror classic, it will be interesting to see how well this instalment fits into that world. Then we have the second instalment on Shudder for its halfway to Halloween celebration, with the release of Late Night with the Devil on April 19th. October 31st, 1977, Jack Delroy's syndicated talk show Night Owls has long been a trusted companion to insomniacs around the country. But a year on from the tragic death of Jack's wife, ratings have plummeted. Desperate to turn his fortunes around, Jack plans a Halloween special like no other, 
on where he is about to unleash evil into the living rooms of America. Late Night with the Devil had its premiere at the South by Southwest Film Festival back in 2023, and after it received positive reviews, it was pegged early on as potentially being the best horror film of 2024. It has gone on to have a theatrical release, but with delayed and limited showings in some countries, the release on Shudder is highly anticipated by many. But of course, Late Night with the Devil has caused a discussion around the use of AI in film, which is a discussion worth having. But this has also soured some people's enjoyment of the film, with some even calling for a boycott. Then we have Abigail, released on April 19th in theatres. After a group of would-be criminals kidnap the 12-year-old ballerina daughter of a powerful underworld figure, all they have to do to collect a $50 million ransom is watch the girl overnight. In an isolated mansion, the captors start to dwindle one by one, and they discover to their mounting horror that they're locked inside with no normal little girl. This is the previously untitled Universal Monster movie created by Radio Silence, and starring Melissa Barrera, Catherine Newton, and Dan Stevens. There is a genuine love for the classic Universal Monster stories, so this reimagining of Dracula's Daughter from 1936 has the potential to do really well, especially as it's helmed by the team that had such huge success with both Scream 5 and 6. Then we have The Night of the Harvest being released on April 19th in theatres. When Aubrey and her friends go geocaching in the middle of the woods, they come across an old cornfield that is rumoured to be haunted. However, before they grasp what exactly plagues the cornfield, they are confronted by a woman in white wearing a mask, resulting in a sequence of tragic murders that leave a lasting impression. Who exactly is the lady with the mask and what is lying beneath the cornfield? The Night of the Harvest is a US release date only and in selected theatres, but hopefully the UK will also get a release date further in the year. Then we have the final new release on Shudder for Halfway to Halloween, with its original film, Infested. Caleb is about to turn 30 and has never been lonelier. He's fighting with his sister over a matter of inheritance and has cut ties with his best friend. Fascinated by exotic animals, he finds a venomous spider in a bazaar and brings it back to his flat. It only takes a moment for it to escape and reproduce, turning the whole place into a dreadful web trap. Infested is the latest horror film from France and will be released on Shudder on April 26th. 2024 seems to be the year of the spider horror film, as we also have the release of Sting next month, so if you're not a fan of spiders, these may not be the best horror films for you. And finally, we have a film that is perhaps more action thriller than straight horror, but it's earned an honorary mention due to the violence and gore, and that is Boy Kills World. When his family is murdered, a deaf-mute named Boy escapes to the jungle and is trained by a mysterious shaman to repress his childish imagination and become an instrument of death. Boy Kills World is a directorial debut from Moritz Moore and is produced by Sam Raimi. It stars Bill Skarsgård, Famke Janssen, Michelle Dockery, and perhaps most excitingly, H. John Benjamin as the inner voice of Bill Skarsgård's character, Boy. You may know Benjamin as the voice of both Bob Belcher and Archer. Boy Kills World will be released on April 26th in theatres. April is going to be a very busy month with some incredible new releases coming out. And if you're new here, then make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell as there will be reviews coming for more than one or two of these films. And if you'd like to join these names here and get extra content, then there is a link to my Patreon page in the description box below. It's a way for you guys to support the channel and, like I say, get extra content on top of everything on this channel. But in the meantime, thank you as always for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves and I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye.